So, back upstairs one more time. I knew there was a reason to hold on to that key. Oh well. No worries, this is pretty easy. So many hiding spots. Just need to figure out exactly where I dropped that bad boy. I think it was all the way over by the supervisor's office, wasn't it? I know it's on the ground somewhere on their patrol. There it is. Okay, good. So, back through the ground level of Building B. Right. Let's go ahead and get the last bag of spice, just so I can make sure I don't need the key for anything else. Have that, not twice. <coughs> Can't take damage either. At least I really don't want to. There we go. Ah, <gasps> oh, yes, there we go. There it is. Inside there, in addition to the flare and the potion, is our fourth of five bags of spice. Brings our loot total to 1380. <laughs> and it looks like I don't need to mess with the door on this side. I think I can just rope up out of here. Which I would definitely rather do. That's sometimes complicated on its own, but okay, now I just need to get down without taking damage. Okay. 
And with that, building B is clear. Notice there's never any birds around anymore. You nobody better be taffer. Oops. Walked a little too far forward. That's okay. <coughs> Alright, well now building B is clear, so I'm gonna lock this door over here, take the building B key back, and then we have to tackle Captain Davidson's ship, which is definitely the hardest, well, I say, I use the word hardest a little bit loosely, but it's complicated because of ghost rules and several glitches, but we will get it done, never fear. It's not actually that hard at all. <sighs> Return the building B key. We still need Davidson's key to loot the ship, so don't do anything with it just yet. Everything that's left to do is on the ship. The last pickpocket, the rest of the loot, including the spice bags, and the final uh, pickpocket are all on the ship. So as soon as we as soon as we drop the key, we're completely clear of building B. All right, good. Alright, let's get on board the ship, and then I'll tell you about all the issues. So the first thing to do is get into the water without letting anyone notice you. Who's there? If I can help it, I still would like to avoid even a first alert, which may require me to wait for him to turn and face east, which he kindly did. That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. He's a shady guy, with smuggling and piracy. Alright. Even though we're well lit, no one comes up here, which is nice.
Now that was our 17th of seven, our and final pickpocket. It was also our fifth and final bag of spice. Brings our loot total to 1,400. Now you hear some angry spiders. Let me explain one of the mission's biggest glitches. You see that sort of storage shed surrounded by barrels over there? There are, I think, two spiders in there that you can hear are already fully alerted, third level, angry. The deal with them is that they can see through the door to the outside and they're hostile to the thief. So when you get here, the spiders will be at full alert, period. Nothing you can do. Now, there's a way to settle them down. Just take some time, but... If we put out... those torches... Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I blew. So if we douse this torch... And then these two torches, excuse me. Which will require all three of our water arrows. You've now heard the spiders settle down to second alert already. first alert I didn't really want. So with those torches out and the spiders settled down now... Okay, I need to wait for the patrollers. So we, we have helped that thief hide from the spiders. They're settled down now. We can reach. That's an apple. That was just nothing. There's a bag of spice. What was that? Which is also our tenth of thirteen secrets. His first alerts are unavoidable. But too jumpy. And you can squeeze back through the barrel. <laughs> Now even though that thing lights up, you can't you can't reclose it, so What's going on? All's 
<laughs> so, alright. Ten secrets down, three to go. We've got all the pickpockets. There is more loot to find. Six whole pieces of it, in fact. So we can use Davidson's key to get into the cabin. That candlestick is easy to grab. Brings our total to 1445. Before I forget, let's. Hmm. Thought I saw. Okay. Oh yeah, when you save and load, the spiders do that one little patrol out. Thought I saw something. You. As weird as that was. Thought I saw something. Sorry, I forgot this at first, but you need to spin the wheel and flip the telescope. Oh. Well, now they've gotten in. Now they've ended up in a fight. So, uh, I didn't instigate that fight. So I'm going to wait for it to resolve itself. That's so weird, though, because they didn't move last time. Well, crud. How far back was my last real save? I don't think it was too far. I think it was... Okay. It was pretty far. This is only even an issue because of the glitch, so... I'm going to let this work itself out. Well, no, I can't do that. Because a melee is a bust of ghost. So where am I? Okay. This isn't... This isn't as far back as it seemed. I just have to... Clear out the first floor again, which I think I can handle. So I'm going to have to redo all this and get back to Davidson's ship. That looks good.
Blink. No problem. I wonder. I'd rather not have to do the whole backtracking thing again, if I could help it. But I may not have a choice. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's a that's a one direction kind of type deal. So I'll have to do the the big backtrack again, which, you know, is fine. It's not that far. Should have done a real save before starting the ship. Oh well. <laughs> the other thing that's obvious is that I need to do the uh, that particular bag of spice last. Because apparently... Since I can't close the door, any saving and reloading might inadvertently trigger a melee. Which, you know, if I, I'm not sure what the rules say if I don't do it on purpose, but it was still only possible because I opened the door, so. I'd rather just avoid having to do that reload if I can. <laughs> Gotta do the slide, Garrett. Gotta do the slide. There you go. I'm thinking back to the Thief Gold playthrough I just finished. And, uh, I remember the... I think at least, you can correct me if I'm wrong, the most tangibly frustrated I ever was was in Escape. Because the mission was just so hard, and the reason it was hard was because of all the randomized patrollers. This mission has already gone on significantly longer than Escape did, and it's not because I've, you know had to wait an hour for a Hammerite novice to move. But this mission has lasted a long time just because it's big and it's fully packed with stuff to do. And I love it! I absolutely love it. Anything. Anyone there? Oh my. Any damn rats around here. Really? It's quiet now. <clears throat> they just they don't seem to make their first alert noise. I just hear them settling down after a quick load. Really? Why is he glued to the wall? What's that? I thought I saw something. Well, let's 
get a little farther out and As long as he stays glued to the wall, doesn't matter much. All right. Another relock. Another key replacement. Back upstairs. <coughs> Return the key. Back downstairs. And we've caught up. Back to the ship. Alright, good. So to recap, <clears throat> and I'm going to do a real save as soon as I get outside. Before tackling the ship. To recap, we need... We have 1380 loot that leave there's a total of 1665 so we've got 285 loot left to find. We have 16 out of 17 pickpockets. We have 9 out of 13 secrets. We've fully complied with ghost rules. Supreme ghost not so much. And um in terms of putting things back which I still like to do the only thing we're carrying that we picked up in the mission is Davidson's key. Everything else is on the ship. Now as far as the glitched spiders go... That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. He's a shady guy. A smuggling and piracy. I'm going to go ahead and use a completely different glitch. That is our 10th of 13 secrets. I'll show you what it opened in a few moments. But if we put out these torches... and slide over here and put out this one. That's sufficient to let the spiders settle down. I like to do that so that I can, and I, now that I think about it, I should do it first anyway. I think it's good to do because it uh, means that when I go for his spice bag, the spiders won't also see me. Which is important to avoid busting a ghost grab his so you can you can hear that they've settled down which is good now I'm gonna get there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use an engine glitch to get their spice bag because it's an engine glitch that renders fancy work necessary in the first place. So 
So that spice bag brings our loot total to 1400. It's our 17th and final pickpocket, and it solves our bag of spice objective. So when he turns, we want to get behind their shed. Now we can't go all the way through back here, but what does work is to mantle up on top, slide over to the right, and fall down here. Wait for him to turn, and you can squeeze through that barrel. And now you've got a couple of choices. You can open this, which I think is foolish, given their uh, propensity to flip out. What I'm going to do instead, since I'm quite capable of doing so, well, okay, maybe I do have to open it. Hard to, hard to say, really. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with plan do that last. So Davidson's key lets me in here. The uh, steering wheel and telescope opened this, which has a bottle of wine, brings our total to 1425, and a spice bag brings our total to 1445. There's a candlestick here, brings our total to 1470, and some reading material. Let's check it out. Captain's log. Make port we did at Rampone's dockside shipping. No safe harbor this, but the reward is surely worth the risk. We need to unload the spice right quick and stash it among the crates inside that building B. Our cut of the bounty should be in the safe inside Osterlin's office as usual. I'll stash the spice while the crew unloads Rampone's cargo. I'm eager to cast off and set sail for our rendezvous point, where we can join with Captain Carr's sloop. From there, it's on to the hunting grounds. That fool Gilver continues to send out unarmed merchantmen, just ripe for the plundering. Now, there's loot behind both of these banners. But, as we know, destroying the banners would bust our ghost. Fortunately, there's a good way around each of them. The uh, northern one is tougher, so I'll do it first. So right here at the center, and again, thanks to Sneak and Clotramus and the others on the forum for this method. Crouch while hugging the middle of the banner. Shoot a rope arrow straight into the ceiling as close to the banner as possible. Release the crouch and grab onto the rope. Turn around 180 degrees and jump. Retrieve the arrow. We're attached to the banner, unable to walk away, as you can see. Crouch, hold back, and jump. Alright, looks like we have to start over. Because we got heard 
Ah, yes, getting hurt is always a concern. Alright, that was just a first alert, so we're okay. Good news. Wait for those patrollers to leave. That bottle of wine is our 11th of 12 secrets. So by the way, the sequence of steps there were crouch in the middle of the banner, hugging it, fire rope arrow as close as possible, release the crouch, grab onto the rope, turn around 180 degrees and jump. We were attached to the banner and unable to walk away. We then retrieved the arrow, crouched, held backward and jumped. We penetrated the first layer of the banner. Then we had to face the chest, crouch, lean forward, and jump, which is what let me highlight the chest, unlock it, and get the loot. So now we crouch, push back, and jump. The chest doesn't highlight anymore. The guys outside still only first alerted, which is good. Slide to the left with our back to the banner. Position myself so that the vertical line of shade on the wall is in the middle of the screen. Then crouch, lean forward, and jump. So you see the vertical line of shade. We've slid to the left. Now we crouch, lean forward, and jump. Still listening, I heard only first alerts. Now we move a little bit to the right, crouch facing the chest, push back, and jump. Okay, that put him into search mode, so gotta be careful. Okay, they're hearing me now, so... <sighs> okay, that time he only first alerted. Good. So now, finally, we're still attached to the banner, still can't walk away, but if we walk all the way toward the door, crouch, move so the right side of the bed is in the middle of the screen, lean left and jump, that should detach us completely. Alright, there's one down, and one to go. Nothing but first alerts outside. So this one is easier, but same type of deal. Crouch while hugging the middle of the banner, shoot a rope arrow into the ceiling as close as possible, release the crouch, and that should grab us onto the rope. 
climb to the top, turn around 180 degrees, and jump. We're now attached to the banner, unable to walk away. It is so. We retrieve the arrow. We crouch, hold back, and jump. <sighs> and just, just like that, the chest highlights. We can open it up, get a gold nugget, brings our loot total to 1595. That's also the 12th of 13 secrets. Relock the chest. Nothing but first alerts. So if we slide to the right with our back to the banner, put the vertical line of shade in the middle of the screen, crouch, lean forward, and jump. <sighs> that gets us free of the banner. No noise from outside. So now let's go down to the cargo hold. There's a piece of loot down there. Under the bench. Somewhere. Is one worthwhile bottle of wine. There it is, brings our total to 1645. <sighs> now I'm going to slip upstairs right quick, fix back the wheel and the telescope. Now with that done, we can go after the spider spice bag. Get in behind here. Open it up. Okay, gotta be careful. Okay. Not sure what's going on, but this bag of spice is the last piece of loot, and it's also the thirteenth secret. We can't reclose that gate, so all that's left is to get out of here and uh we got to return Davidson's key as we go. Anyway, it's worth repeating that the, uh, the spider melee seems to trigger... Oh, there it goes. Anyway. Oh, but they're not fighting anybody. I can just see them. Okay, good. So for whatever reason, the spiders decided to be lovers instead of fighters. Drop Davidson's key back on the patrol route. And all that's left is to leave. That was fun, wasn't it? I had fun. Ugh, I hate creepy noises. Okay, we won't go out that way. Guess we'll just 
go all the way out the same way we came in, through the building A. That seems easiest, after all. Let's not forget the Watcher. Or Friend Guard. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going to follow along the guard's patrol route like always. I'm going to move out this way. Who's noising about then? I'm going to wait till he comes in himself. That should give me the window I need to use this catwalk anyway. I saw something. Of course. Benny's here. I might need to do a rush job on this. Depends which way he goes first. Hello? Anyone there? Yeah. If I want this to work, I'm gonna have to rush it. Alright, good. And here we are back at the start. Just mantle up. Mantle up. Mission over! Alright! Oh, that was fun. It really was. Took a long time, but we've got perfect thief in shipping and receiving. 2 hours, 18 minutes, 57 seconds, found 1665 loot out of 1665, 17 out of 17, remember, Thief 2 always lies by 1, pockets picked, 5 locks picked, no backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt taken, no healing taken, nothing and nobody killed, 13 out of 13 secrets found, campaign so far, 2 hours, 55 minutes, 16 seconds, 2950 loot, 8 damage from the 8 knockouts in running interference, and no damage received. Wonderful! That was loads of fun. It'll probably be very complicated for me to string all the videos together and upload, but it is what it is. I'll get it to you as soon as I can, and I will see you next time when we take on Framed. Bye-bye.